Hello, hello, hello. It is Dottie, your favorite social media manager here, and I'm here with... <laughs> it's your boy, Faith of Sam. Um, I'm only here for more support, <laughs> Doc. <laughs> you know, but um, let's get into this video. It's been yes. popping for a minute, but um, let's get to it. Um, so today, we have a serious topic. Um, we are going to be reacting to the body cam footage of Sonia Massey. Um, let's get into it. Let's just let's just get into let's, it. Let's get into it. Like these these things are becoming too frequent, too mm -hmm. often. Absolutely. Um, and I, I think we we are starting to be numb to these situations. Absolutely. I don't have no answers for it, but since it's a reaction, let's react. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go from there. Okay, let's go. Breaking right now at four, body camera video just released of the moment a sheriff's deputy shot and killed a woman in central Illinois. The video is disturbing and the reactions are emotional from the family all the way to the White House. Lauren Victory has been going through the video. Lauren, the situation escalated very quickly. Well, Jim and Marie, this police encounter turns deadly in just seconds, and we need to warn viewers the body camera footage is graphic, but not right away. The officers who were called to her home spent several minutes with her gathering information about the 911 call she initially placed. Deputies arrived to Sonia Massey's house on July 6th after she reported a possible intruder. Body camera video shows them searching her property and taking special interest in a car with broken windows. <laughs> They knock at least five times and Massey comes to the door, mumbling something to Deputy Sean Grayson, who responds. Oh, it hurts you. You called us. The conversation appears to be wrapping up about a minute later. Is there anything else I can do for you? Then deputies ask more about that car and wind up coming inside Massey's house for some questions. They notice the stove is on. Massey goes over to the pot of water and things take a fatal turn. <laughs> Really quick, before we get to the actual incident, um, the news, this newscast, they kind of just briefed over what happened. Um, so it is around around one o'clock in the morning, and Sonia calls the police because she believes that there is an intruder to be in her home or near her home. Right? The two cops get dispatched. They arrive at the scene. They look it out. They check it out. Whatever. Whatever. Um, they didn't show the full conversation outside, but the reason why the cops had even came into the house is because they wanted some identification. Why they needed identification after they done searched the house and after everything was already done and they was about to leave, I don't know, but they wanted some identification. So then they went inside the house. The conversation continues. It's light and it's airy. There is a 36 minute body cam footage video. If you have the stomach for that, you should go watch it you know, see the whole story and everything. Um, <clears throat> after they are looking for our identification, you know, she's talking, they're talking back and forth, whatever, whatever. And one of the deputies sees that there is a pot of water boiling on the stove. So, you know, he asks for her to turn it down or to watch the stove or check it or whatever, because they don't want a fire while they're there. Continuing. Deputy Grayson's body camera shows his vantage point as he raises his weapon. Massey places the pot down, puts her hands in the air, and ducks. Grayson shoots. That may have been a little unclear to see. So Massey said something about, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And the deputy said something about, you better not, I will shoot you in the face. Just minutes ago, Massey's father, James Wilburn, talked about seeing the video of what happened. So, this newscast didn't show the actual shooting. Um, it is very graphic, so of course, only if you have the stomach for that, go watch it on your own time. But basically what happens is that, you know, she goes over to the kitchen and she is turning off the stove, moving the pot, whatever she's doing, what the cops asked her to do. And then, I don't exactly remember the direct, direct words, but it was something along the lines of, you know, he's saying something about I'm moving away from you with that, with that boiling hot water. And she says, oh, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Okay. He proceeds to get angered and he responds, oh, you better not. I will shoot you 
right in the face. Um, and then, so at this point, you know, she sees that the, that the situation is becoming a little bit more hostile, a little bit more volatile, as they are raising her guns at her now. So she says sorry. She puts the pot down. She puts her hands in the air, and she cowers on the ground because, of course, she is being held at gunpoint in her own kitchen by these two cops. So you know, she goes and she she cowers on the ground, and she's like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry," and they proceed to shoot her three times, right in the head, right in the face, um, and this it's not even like a you know you you can't aim sometimes no it was very intentional because the cop who shot her after he proceeded to say to his to his partner partner yes thank you (laughs) he proceeded to say to his partner and he was like oh don't even worry about grabbing the med kit like that she's a shot in the forehead like she's done like that's it and and he says this in a very matter of fact tone and he is somewhat laughing And throughout the whole rest of the video after she is shot, you can hear in his tone that he is laughing a little bit. You know, he, I don't want to, obviously I'm not there in that position with him. I don't know what he was thinking, if he was thinking, but he is very aloof in this whole situation. You know, he's not really taking into account that he just shot an innocent woman for essentially no reason. And... (sighs) <sighs> moral of the story moral of the story this was a severe injustice that should never have occurred it didn't need to occur it was very it, it didn't need to occur i am glad i'm not gonna i'm not gonna oversight because a lot of people are I'm, I'm glad that you know this cop has gotten charged with murder is this charge going to stick is he going to get prison time hopefully but you know as the trial unfolds we can't wait to see that what what will happen and i hope that sonia does get the justice that she deserves and i hope her family gets even a fraction of the comfort that they're looking for right now in these times um i wanted to watch some i wanted to react to some comments some of the comments yes (laughs) but uh before we do that can Mm -hmm. we go back to the video Right in the beginning of the video, right? I see you said, you know, um, why well, didn't knock on her door, right? Uh-huh. So it's not uncommon when somebody calls, you know, 911 for police officers to identify the complainant. Uh-huh. In this case, she was the complainant. Yes. So that's not an uh, uncommon thing, you know, for yeah, police officers course. to do. Now, I didn't see the whole video, uh-huh. right? Why she invited them inside her home. Or how they ended up, you know, inside a home. Yes. Uh, but within that time, I'm wondering, like, what happened between the time that they identify her as a complainant to the time that, you know, she got shot. What was that conversation like? It was very... From the beginning of the video, when they showed that the cops were knocking, they were a little bit agitated. They were knocking pretty aggressively at the door. When she finally didn't answer the door after a couple times, um, you know, they were like, you know, they they were just a little bit hostile with her, not using any obscenity or nothing, but they're just a little, a little bit on edge already. And then you know, so the conversation, it was like we checked the property out, we didn't see nothing. They asked questions about the car that they had saw, you know, and everything. Everything was good. And then after that, they had asked, at some point, for her like identification, you know, for ID, whatever, to identify the complainant. Um, they go inside, and again, it's just lighthearted conversation about her being like i'm looking for my d yada 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 while they're sitting and she's sitting on the couch and then after that the deputy grayson i believe he's the one who had um mentioned the boiling water and he asked her to move it off the stove and that was pretty much it yeah like because what we're doing is something called monday morning quarterback Mm -hmm. right because i wasn't there i I can't place myself and you know his shoes his shoes mm-hmm. and course. can't place myself in her shoes as well mm-hmm. you, you know um it's it's kind of it's sad that this happened you know like i feel for her family um and i pray that you know they do get the justice that they uh deserve um uh the partner did the right thing just by standing back mm-hmm. right um i know a lot of people will say like he could have reacted different but we were not there to, of course. to see what occurred. Or he was not there to see 
what his partner saw mm -hmm. and the reason why he he shot her like it, it's bad because you cannot really pick you know one side to say you yeah know, but this was an unarmed person mm -hmm. right an unarmed unarmed black woman yes that got shot inside of her house so yeah um another thing that i noticed the video didn't explicitly mention is that the cop who had done the shooting his body cam was off it wasn't off the entire time when they were searching around the property it was on both body cams were on but then later at some point while talking to Shon sonia and getting inside the house deputy grayson's his body cam camera had turned off oh he, so he turned it off he turned it off I didn't say he turned it off, but it got turned off. Oh, okay. It got turned off because I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. Right. right. But it, it got, got turned, turned off. off. And so the partner's body cam is the only reason why we have footage of this event. Hmm. All right. As you can see, the other body cam footage, it isn't from, like, you know, the shooter's perspective. It's from the It's from observer. the partners. Right. So, of course, let's say there was something going on that the the shooter had seen that he feared for his life in that moment because of the angle of that we were at with the body we cam can't we can't it see, we it. Don't see it now from what we do see we do see her putting the pot down raising her hand she has two like um i don't know what they're called but like oven mitts type of thing you know something to hold the pot with mm -hmm. she has two of those in her hands she says i'm sorry and she goes down to the floor and then we hear the shots and then we hear don't move or we hear put the pot down how is she gonna put the pot down is she you know <laughs> um so yes that is something i wanted to point out that there is no body cam footage from deputy grayson would you want to move on to the comments now yeah let's let's get to the comments <sighs> okay so our first comment comes from kev keisha and he says that killer was waiting to do that his entire adult life. I don't want to say I agree because, of course, I don't know this person. I don't know this person, but I do believe that somebody who is placed in that position of power and authority and someone who is supposed to and expected to protect, you know, the people of their community, I think that if he was that easily angered over what her rebuking him of in the name of jesus again i'm not i know later in the comments they say but i'm not gonna call him a demon or say there's any demons in him because i am not god i don't know what that man has going on but there was something in him that got a little bit angered and i believe that if you are that easily angered and you are in the possession of you know a deadly weapon and you are in the and you are in the position where if you were to shoot with the deadly weapon you are going to get believed first you know people are going to look at you and be like so what happened i think that there should just be more <sighs> there are policies and procedures in place yes, for these things right there are there are i mean which is one of the reasons why he got arrested of course right? because he wouldn't wouldn't have been arrested if he didn't do anything wrong wrong that yes, you are a police officer. Yes, you carry a deadly weapon, but there's responsibility that comes with that that weapon as well, mm -hmm. right? And you are held accountable for the the shots you do take. Yes, and hey. he was held accountable. He was. Yeah, so far, so like, mm -hmm. like I, I believe in this situation, justice will prevail. Right? Me too. Um, but even though justice will prevail, that family will never gain you know their family members back. Exactly. Right. So I, I hope they find out. Um, you know, they they find comfort in yeah. knowing that you know the person that ended their uh, that young woman's life, mm -hmm. right, will pay the consequences. Yes. Um, will Crute seven four seven seven says she rebuked the demon and the demon killed her. Um, this one stood out to me a lot because mm -hmm. that is what a lot of people are saying. You know, it's very the demon in him got angry you know got angered when she rebuked him you know me personally re recently i've been reading up a lot on deliverance yeah 
and you know because it is spiritual warfare out here it is like we're not just it's a lot more than you can see going on so you know i've i've heard firsthand accounts of when you know you are possessed by a demon and you know someone is trying to rebuke that or pray that out of you you know the demon does get a little bit upset a little angry Mm -hmm. and so if that is what happened then that's what happened so be it then so be it but i wanted to point that out specifically yeah um lately Uh we've been giving the devil a lot of credit I agree. <laughs> you know, the devil is tired. He's probably just sitting down, and the devil doesn't. No, the we're devil. giving them a lot of credit because what we do have is is will, right? We mm-hmm. have the will to do and not to do, mm-hmm. right? And we could choose either good or evil. That's a choice. And a lot of people, choose right? Evil. And I think a lot of people choose to to be evil, mm-hmm. right? But at the same time, like we we blaming demons and devil. No, that person that made person, a choice, it's, right? So that was on them. Yes. Uh, on that young man, don't know him from a can of paint, right? Or how he was raised. Don't want to know him, from a right? Can of paint. But that that could be part of his, you know, uh, upbringing. Right? We don't know that, mm-hmm. right? And he's an individual. Like I want us to, you know, remember that he's an individual. Yes. That he he's chose not to the whole system. You guys. Exactly. So he chose to do this. Is is this is a decision that he made? His partner could have, because this is the thing, right? If I enter with a partner. And I see something and my partner see the same danger, like most likely we'll react to that danger. Of course. Right? Because that's what you're trained to do. Correct, correct. If I'm shooting, like my partner better be shooting with me. What? <laughs> you know, you're not going to let me die. If you hold back, uh, there had to be some discrepancy. Yes. Right? We don't know what that is. Like I said, this is just Monday morning quarterback. Yeah. But as far as blaming demons for the situation, blaming demons for the action, that you know this young man took mm-hmm. that was on him right so yeah. i'm not gonna give the devil credit you know for the action that he took that was on him yeah He's me trying. personally i i would like i want to hear the partner's um testimony at trial mm-hmm. you know about the partner's account of what he saw because the partner did not shoot correct the partner did not shoot he sat yeah. there and he he was I, I i'm sure he was a little confused he was like what's going on so I want to hear the partner's testimony and I want to hear what the partner believes and, you know, his whole viewpoint and everything. And I agree with you. People give the devil too much credit. I I don't, personally, I don't like to call people bad people or anything like that because I don't know you. But they are bad people. I don't know you, but... They are bad people. But <laughs> he is a bad person. They are bad people, man. I'm not saying it's the devil or whatever, but I personally believe that it's you... It's by choice. We, we hate This by was choice. absolutely a choice. Yeah. Hate is a choice. Love is a choice. Absolutely. We make choices. Absolutely. Right? And, and we need to stop blaming the devil for the things that we did because you can, as much as you are able to do the bad you 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 have the to opportunity do to, do, to good. do good yeah so choose today what you want to do bad or good and then live by it mm-hmm. what not not too much now because we see what happened when you live by you know doing that yeah um cold ice 99 says the problem is that other cops don't hold them accountable the only reason he got charged is because there was a video um mm. I want to say kudos to you a little bit because I do agree. Um, I don't think the only... I feel like this would have gone somewhere. I believe that he would have been reprimanded. Mm -hmm. I don't know to what extent, but I believe that he would have been reprimanded. Mind you, today right now, it is Wednesday, July 24th. This incident took place July 6th. When did he get arrested? I can't tell you that. So that's a question that we need to answer. Let's be with right now. He this incident took place July sixth. The only reason why now it is becoming a thing is because the body cam footage. They released came out. the body cam footage, but it's it's been on the news. For like two, three days. It's been on the news. So now it resurfaced because of the body cam footage. Yes. Yeah. So let's find What's out when again? he was arrested. Cop. Yeah, and when he was charged. Okay. Oh, why is this bringing up Derek Chauvin? Let's not bring that... Ch- mm. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, y'all. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Google is not cooperating right now. Yeah, Google, do your thing. Okay. 
I wonder if anybody else that had a reaction video looked into this. I don't think so. What we know about the deputy charge. Hmm. Okay, no. Sean Grayson, the 30 year old Sangamon County Sheriff's deputy who has since been fired from the agency was indicted by a grand jury last week on three counts of first degree murder and one count each of aggravated battery with the firearm and official misconduct in the connection with the July 6th shooting. It doesn't say when. Okay, so that makes sense. Yes. So meaning they had a whole investigation, mm -hmm. right? So he was on leave. Yes. So the department did the right thing. They did do the right, right? thing. And, and I I'm, understand, I'm very happy for that. Yeah, and I understand the public, you know, when those things happen, like we want to see results right there and then. But right. things take time. Yeah, it of takes course. time. So the department did their part. Yes. Right. They did an investigation because they had to make sure. Right. They had the same camera footage. Mm -hmm. Right. And they probably viewed it and and they probably reacted the same way the public did. Oh shoot. Yeah. Right. We can't believe this. But it takes time to do to get uh, an things. investigation mm -hmm. and get it right. Right. Yes. We don't like. It's not like you don't always get it right, but it takes time to get it right. Mm -hmm. and and hopefully you know uh everything else you know will Falls be into place the way that it should correct yes. correct but they did hold them accountable they though. did they absolutely did and i am very happy for that um i feel like the reason why no one is talking about it is because we're so used to cops not getting held accountable okay you know and i'm not saying that that is good to now in this instance overshadow that because I'm glad that he is going to, well, he's going to trial. He got arrested. I'm glad that he's being charged. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you know, he gets sentenced guilty and he goes to jail for life. But, you know, in a lot of cases like this, it took, it takes months. It takes even years, maybe, you know, for some of these cops to get even a slap on the wrist. So, you know, the public's outrage isn't. Is it's not not understandable, you know. We get it, you know. Yeah, no, I I understand it. the 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 only thing I would say is, it, we generalize these situations, right? Mm -hmm. And we make them about every everybody police officer. Yes. Right. And they're not. And it, it's not. It's an individual that decided to do something. They're carrying a badge, right? Mm -hmm. They're behind a the badge, but there's an individual behind that badge. Yes. Right, and they get to make choices. Mm -hmm. And in this case, he used the wrong judgment, right? And he is being held accountable. Mm -hmm. um, but there are some good police officers out there. There absolutely right? are. And I could call... No, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> yeah, let's move on to the next comment. Yes. <laughs> ben Forever, 876. Cops don't become psycho psychopath. Psychopath become cops. I understand the comment. <laughs> <laughs> I just said it. Mm -hmm. Like that person was who they were before they become a cop. A cop. Yeah. Right. So we cannot generalize and say, you know, all cops are him. No, not all cops. Of are course. Him, right. The majority of cops are not him. Right. But he is an individual that mm -hmm. was something and he got behind the badge and still, mm -hmm. you know, remained the person that, that he was. Yeah. Um, so I can understand this comment. This comment. It, it yes. makes it makes it does make sense. sense. You know, it makes sense. So now you're targeting the 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 person, mm -hmm. right? And not everybody that the institution. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I I do understand the comment as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not right to generalize. You know, because, of course, not all police officers are bad. Not all law enforcement is bad. Like everything else. Like everything else, mm -hmm. you know. Of course, there is a good with the bad. But yes. it's not all bad. You no. know, we have to believe that majority of the people who went into that field, you know, they did it to protect and to serve. Um, but when you, just as in anything else, when you assume a position, you are now a reflection of your title and Correct. of your establishment. Correct. And Correct. that is the issue. That is. Because, you know, some people, especially this particular establishment, we don't need the bad people in here. You know, like, 
but except it's out there it's in the world yeah. you know you go get a desk job you're gonna have somebody bad at a desk job you and know, that's fine if you bad at a desk job you're not you know I mean? you're not like, out here in the lawyers streets. like if you talk like every institution yeah. has them right? has their, has their the, the, the bad thing is like you know the institution of police officers they carry a deadly weapon yes and they, they are authorized to use it when necessary and reasonable clearly when they want to no when necessary and reasonable but yes yeah Yes. If, if that was true, then he would not have been held accountable. You're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. Okay. Um, Mr. Eric Cox, 7760. Yeah, that guy. Six zero. Yes. He says six jobs in policing in four years. They knew who they were hiring and they didn't care. I think this is a very important comment because this is true. Um, Deputy Grayson, he was moved around from four different precincts. No, six different precincts within the span of four years, all because of some type of complaint of aggravated assault or just just abuse of power. Clearly, you know, these the signs were there. The signs were there. And, they and were warned. All of that. It was it was just people kept brushing it under the rug until it was no more brushing they could do. Mm-hmm. Um. So you think the department dropped the ball on this one? I think the department absolutely dropped the ball isn't even the word. They dropped the whole dang everything because. Yeah. So how do you do it? Right. Mm-hmm. Like we say, give somebody a second chance. Mm-hmm. How do we go about that? Because they're screening for job employment, especially yeah. as police officers. You have to go to an in- intensive uh, screening. Mm-hmm. So how how do they prevent from hiring somebody like that? I think. Preventatively, there really is no way. Like you, you really just have to blindly trust that the people who are trying to come into your institution, if they pass everything else, you know, the physical test, the the legal test, everything. If they have the knowledge, then you need to just have blind faith that they are here to do what's right. But I think when shown otherwise, you, there is no second chance at that point because it is. Once a cop is outside on the field, it is life or death every single time, mm-hmm. as long as they are armed, as long as there are other people around them who could be armed or not. You know, I, I am someone for second chances, me personally. You know, I think that everybody deserves one. But <laughs> in this situation, I don't think so, because let's, that's like saying, OK, let's flip it around. Right. Mm-hmm. It's a guy on the street. He mugs somebody. Right. He goes and he mugs that person in in, in Miami-Dade County. You know, Miami-Dade County, the cops say after him, whatever. They go, they give him a second chance. He goes to Broward. He mugs somebody else. The safety cop, he goes to, he mugs somebody else. You know, how many second chances are you going to keep giving him if it's a repeated pattern? Because at one of the day, one of those muggings is going to become deadly. And then what? Oh, my God, we didn't know. Oh, my God. No. No, you saw what was going on. It was a one time, maybe two times. Okay, it was a pattern. Within the span of four years, he moved six precincts. What are you talking about right now? That is ridiculous. I promise you there is enough cops in the world, enough cops in that county, whatever, that you could have either replaced him or got rid of him. There is absolutely no excuse for him to have still even been on the field, to have responded to that call to have made whatever calls he made that ended this poor mother's life, you know? Because now it's kids on the street, it's not on the street, but now it's kids who have no mother. Because what? They wanted to give him a second chance? Absolutely not. Where's her second chance? You know? I agree with you 100%. Nothing. I got nothing. All right. Uh, Sir (laughs) Smoke-A-Lot. Yo. Sir smoke a lot 8866. Uh, we investigated ourselves <laughs> and found no wrongdoing. I found no wrongdoing. After an extensive internal review, what the happened, you guys? I'm sorry. Sir Let's... smoke a lot must have been smoking a lot when he wrote this. <laughs> okay. I think Sir smoke a lot is a little bit right, though. No, he's not. <laughs> because Not they... in this situation. No, he's not. Because they did an investigation mm-hmm. and they are taking the proper mm-hmm. steps, you know, to... They did. They, they did. can't make this right, right? Like, the whole, you know, idea of making it right. There you, is You no can't way. replace a life. You can't. 
right? So it's not making it right. But they, they are, are doing, doing something about it. Exactly. They are. They're, they are. So let's stay tuned and, and see what yeah. comes of this. And my whole thing is, how do we prevent these things from from happening? Because it's a, it's a reoccurring it you know, situation. You know, we had the uh, uh, George Floyd, you know, a couple of years back uh, during mm-hmm. COVID. Mm-hmm. Right. And we had the young lady. Um, inside of her apartment, mm-hmm. you know, we had a few of those. We've you know, had countless, countless of them. Countless, that, that countless, south, countless. Right. So, how do we prevent those? I have no answers for that. I also have no answer because I know how to govern myself best as a young black woman in this world. Mm-hmm. You know how to govern yourself best as a black man in this world who also happens to be a police officer. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And I've seen both sides of it, Mm -hmm. right? And I've been on the other side of it as well. Mm -hmm. And I could tell you, like, law enforcement is is hard. Absolutely. It it is. It's a difficult job to do, Mm -hmm. right? But if you go into it with the right mind and the right heart, yeah, you can make a difference, Mm -hmm. you know? You can make a difference. So I hope everything works out for, well... No, it's it's not because they lost a family member. You know, they lost yeah. a loved one, right? So no matter how much of money, no, no, like nothing, nothing can will replace, make it okay. You know, the life that they lost. Yeah. You know, and I'm glad. You know, um, accountability is, has been has been taken yes. by the department, and let's stay tuned and see what mm-hmm. what comes of this. Um. I would just like everybody watching to continue to pray, not only for Sonia Massey and her family, but for also the families of all the other countless victims who were publicized and who weren't publicized. Um, To pray for America. Lord, we need it. To pray for America, please. Please, please, please. Our government, our everything. You know, um, be careful. Be careful out in these streets, people. Don't be bad. Do what you are supposed to do. Please govern yourself correctly. There are too many accidents. There are too many, too, too many, too many's. Let's try to reduce that. Um, you know, let's, 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 let's make a world that we want our children to be proud to live in. Let's leave them with something good. Let's try to undo the damage that is done and stop more from happening. And yeah. Yeah. You know, what I said to this is I could control my environment, Mm -hmm. my immediate environment. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember watching, sorry, you know, I do my movie references. You good, go ahead. Armageddon. I don't know if you know that movie. I've heard of it. Okay. So the world about to end and they have to send a group, you know, to go save the whole planet. Oh, no. Um. I'm not sure which individual in the movie they asked this question to. Mm-hmm. They're like, hey, who are you doing this for? You know, you're going, you know, to save, you know, the whole world. And his response was, I'm going to save three. And that was his family, my wife and my two kids. Aww. That is the perfect response because yeah. I cannot be responsible for the whole world. That's God's job. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm only one person. I don't know. I'm only one person. You it know? is about seven billion of y'all. Correct. And the decisions that I do make affects those three individuals. Mm-hmm. So what I can control or try to control is my immediate environment. Yes. And that involves my immediate family. Of course. Right. And everything else, I just got to pray and have faith. And hope that I will be covered by God's, you know, uh, perfect, you know, will yes. under his wings. Um, and to do that, we have the decisions that we make, the, the places that we, we find ourselves, mm-hmm. um, the situations that we put ourselves in. Yeah. We got to do better. We do need to do better. We got to um, do better. You know, like mm-hmm. the Bible says, when I was a child, I thought as a child, I reasoned as a child. But as I become older, I put away childish things. And, you know, I know that this has nothing to do with the reaction video. No, now now we're, we're just putting light into, you know, life. You know, we're just itself, talking. You know, but put away childish things mm-hmm. and become the individual that God called you to be. You. Right. Be set apart. Be set apart. You know, and you won't end up like that young man, you know, with all that. Maybe he had anger issues. I, I don't know. 
don't know him. You know, you won't end up like that, right? Mm -hmm. And our prayers goes out to the family members. Yes. You know, um, we pray and hope that they find comfort mm -hmm. uh, and knowing that uh, justice is being served. Yes. You know, and how do we move move up, move on from this? I really have no answers. I, I don't know. I wish I, I knew. I wish I could say if if I could do it, I would fix the problem myself. Yeah. But I can't. Yeah. We just need to collectively do better as a people, as a as as a society. Society. Yeah. Um, I think. I was kind of debating saying this mm. in my head a little bit, but I do want to ask and extend my own prayers to the deputy's family. Well, I'm well, sure. Were you? Well, because, like, you know, you know, the black woman in me wants to be upset, I and I want to just call for 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 God to just cast him down. But that's. He is a brother yeah. in Christ yeah. who I'm not going to say made a mistake. Well, we don't but, know if he's a brother in Christ. Well, he is a human being he, he on human this being. planet. Therefore, sure. he is my brother in Christ. Am sure. I going to claim him? Absolutely not. <laughs> You're going somewhere with this. Am I going to claim him? Absolutely not. But I do believe that um, I everything happens for a reason this is absolutely traumatic and it could have been avoided but i hope that i don't know god's plan i hope that god touches him in prison wow, while he is while this. he is rotting away in jail you know and i hope that he can at least find some solace in himself for his actions and i pray that his family i'm sure that they're going through a hard time Rightfully so, because what? But I hope that, you know, they do come out on the other side of this. I know that in a lot of these cases, you know, families get sent death threats, get yeah. berated. That's not ever needed because his family did it. He made an individual decision. Yes. So I just want to ask that people pray for the family, you know, pray for pray for everybody. Pray for the world. Pray for everybody. Pray for yourself. Just pray. Please just pray. That, that's why I say Christianity is hard. It is right? hard. Because you, you do have to pray for your enemies. Yeah. Right? And you can't hate. I just don't want to sit here Correct. and, and be speaking from a place of hatred. I can't. You can't because you know, the Bible teaches us to overcome evil with good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Good is is the hard thing to do. It is the hard thing to do. Evil come easy. It, it really does. For us, right? But the good is the hard thing to yeah. do. Yeah. So the hardest thing to do is to pray for his family. Yes. The pray for thing, him. Pray for him, right? It's, that's a hard thing to mm -hmm. do because he committed an evil act. Yes. I right? might not start doing it tonight, but I'll do it. <laughs> okay. So, um, <laughs> let us know in the comments yes. uh, what you guys think of the video. Uh, it's your session. Go ahead and close it out. Um, thank you so much for spending this time with me and with Samuel. Um, I'm glad you cared enough about my insights. I encourage you all to go out, get educated, register to vote, please. For the state of Florida, the last day to vote, well, the last day to register to vote is October 7th. Please go out and vote. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. Go out and vote. Be educated. Make the best decision that lines up with you, what you want for your family, for your life, your values, and your morals. We are trusting you as a country to, 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 to uphold your constitutional rights and go out and vote in the primaries, in the general elections, in the presidential elections, everything. Please go out and do that. Pray for one another. Love each other. Govern yourselves accordingly. Please stop acting like a fool out in these streets, you guys. And yes, we will see you on another episode of Tap, 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 Tap In. I like it. All right, we out.